the white paper and planning bill uh, detail other reforms in relation to these two areas, so infrastructure and building regulation. India New South Wales welcomes aspects of these reforms, such as the improved integration of infrastructure and planning up front, and improvements in building certification and compliance more generally. Our full submission will outline concerns we have with these issues where relevant to the public interest in environmental protection and community participation. For example, we will analyse the level of community participation in infrastructure planning as compared with other proposed strategic planning processes. We'll look at the lack of urban sustainability and building efficiency considerations, which I mentioned at the start, and we'll comment on the use of biodiversity offset contributions. Now I'll hand over to Rachel to talk about how you can have your say on the white paper and the planning reforms. Thanks, Darren. So in terms of next steps, the other day I was speaking to a friend of mine who's a bit cynical and has worked on environmental assessment issues in local government for the last 15 years. And I said to him, are you going to be putting in a submission on the white paper? And he said, well... They've taken, they've taken two words out of the title. They've taken away environmental, they've taken away assessment, and that, that pretty much says it all. And I thought he was just being a little smarty, and I laughed. And then I was kind of thinking of it. The more I thought, he has a point. The point is, environmental assessment is no longer a headline item. The new, the new planning system is going to look different. We're going to, just going to have a planning act. It's not going to be an environmental assessment act anymore. So even though he, he has a point, I think I would encourage you all to comment on more than just the title and really get involved now if possible. It's a huge task to comment on the whole lot. As you will have noticed, there's a very large white paper, two bills, and a lot of very technical, technical detail. And we confess we are guilty of using technical jargon frequently. I'd like to just say at this point, we met with the department yesterday in the Minister's office in specifically about our concerns about the reduction in review rights of the community and they did say to pass on to you today that the Minister is happy to take representations about how the community participation charter can be strengthened. But in addition to that, if you want to comment more broadly, in making a submission there are lots of different things that you can think about. Some of the key issues we've raised today about planning reform, the interaction of the planning system and other environmental issues that matter to you, whether it's threatened species protection, mining law, water law, how you want your city to develop, what concerns or inspires you about new development, what environmental values and targets you want to protect, whether that's local, regional or state, what sort of consultation rights are important to you as a community member, what standards would be important to you for development in your neighbourhood, at work or at home? So that might relate to open space, water efficiency, privacy, overshadowing, solar access for solar energy, building setbacks for neighbours and a whole range of things. Obviously there's a, a large amount of information on the planning department website. I think as, as we've noticed on this GIS page and Jeff noted at the beginning, the key date is Friday the 28th of June. There's, on the departmental website, they've got various feedback tools that you can use. Also, many local councils are holding community forums and many groups are holding community forums. At EDO New South Wales, we've, we've actually been inundated with requests for us to come and speak to local workshops, do local workshops, speak to community groups and speak to councils. And obviously we um, can't quite get out to everyone, so we're going to put a whole lot of information on our web page. So we've got our key issues paper up there already that you may have seen. There were some copies at the back. Uh, that, that's there and that's our preliminary analysis that fleshes out some of the detail we've talked about today. The slides from today will be on the website and also we have a longer version of this seminar that we're doing in some locations. We'll put the, the detailed slides up too. We've made some YouTube videos to explain some of the major changes in the white paper. So if you've got a community meeting or a forum and, and they're interested in certain aspects, you might be able to play one of our videos and that might give a bit of an explanation to your group. Um, we have fact sheets on our website already that explain the current planning system. If you want to compare what's happening now with what, what's proposed, <coughs> also have fact sheets on how to write an effective submission. And although 
certainly in the policy and law reform team and more broadly at the EDO, we actually enjoy looking at planning legislation and having debates about what it means in your community, but we understand not everyone is that nerdy. So what we're going to do is put our submission out two weeks before the due date. So any technical analysis, you, the community will be able to see and they can always refer to our submission if they want. Because the important thing for community submissions is to tell your story, to tell what you care about in your local area, how you want to get engaged, what you want to protect, what growth you want to see. So it's really important that you tell your story, but as a kind of support network, support for that, we're going to be putting out a lot of technical information on our website. So if we can't make it to your community meeting or to your council meeting, then certainly make use of our resources and certainly give us a call if there's something that's a bit unclear because at the moment we're kind of going line by line through the bill, really trying to work out what it means for local environments and local communities and we're still in the process of that. So I think if we haven't said it enough, the key date in red, end of June, is what, what you should all be aiming for. But by all means, EDO is certainly keen to help in this process. As Jeff said at the beginning, this is a really, really important overhaul of plans. And as I was saying in, our, in the section about strategic planning, unless the community gets engaged now, you may not actually be able to get engaged later. So even though it seems a bit tiresome and baffling now, it's really, really important to get engaged and the EDO would like to assist in any way that we can.